Lazy Arquitecto, what are your AutoCAD tricks to hatch areas in AutoCAD? Hi, I'm the Lazy Arquitecto. Like each and every Tuesday, welcome to a new video on AutoCAD tips, tricks and hacks. If you are new to this channel and you want to save time in AutoCAD, Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So let's go ahead and get it started. AutoCAD hatches in AutoCAD are so helpful if you want to save time. As for this example, which I'm trying to do an RCP or reflective ceiling plan and by using a 2x4 tile I can easily draw the tiles automatically instead of drawing each line individually and this is just a small example on how to save time with AutoCAD hatches but I'm sure there are more. AutoCAD trick number one. If you type H to start the hatch command in AutoCAD and hover over an area you can see that the preview looks correct here and here and in this other area however if you click on it to apply your hatch we got the following error a close boundary could not be determined so the issue here is that this is an external reference or an xref and the actual issue is that this xref has been clipped or clipped so to solve this problem and to be able to hatch these areas as you can see this is an external reference so like I said to fix this issue you will need to and clip or remove the clipping boundary on this xref. So to do this, select your xref, then go to your ribbon and click remove uh, clipping. As you can see, if I click on it, your xref will not will now be a full xref and not just one part. The other alternative to remove a uh, clipping from an xref, I'm going to click undo, is to type xclip command and then select your xref, press enter and finally delete. As you can see this xref doesn't have clipping anymore. So if we try the hatch command again in AutoCAD, typing H and pressing enter, then clicking the area, you can see that now you are able to hatch. AutoCAD trick number two. If you are having problems hatching an area in AutoCAD, like in this example where I only wanted to hatch this cells area and not this small corridor do the following draw a line to divide the two spaces and then start the hatch command as you can see you'll have this message continue hatching area but if you accept that your hatch will be fine Now you can remove your line. AutoCAD trick number three. If you are still having difficulties trying to hatch an area in AutoCAD, like in this example, I have the following error message. A closed boundary could not be determined. So let's close this message. And what we're gonna do is start the hatch command, go to your ribbon options and change the gap tolerance. 
Now if we try to hatch again and click continue hatching, you can see that your area was successfully hatched. AutoCAD trick number four. If you if you still can't hatch an area in AutoCAD because you have error messages such as the following and you also already try the alternative to change the gap tolerance and nothing seems to work try this other method for this you're gonna use the command line version of hatch command so to start type dash hatch then choose the draw boundary by typing W as you can see here in the command line then type Y to retain polyline boundary now you can specify the start point for your hatch and then I'm gonna start clicking points to create the new boundary for my new hatch finally type C to close your boundary and press enter to accept the new boundary awesome as you can see now you have many alternatives when you can't hatch an area in AutoCAD. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share with your friends, and click subscribe for less clicks and more done. I'll see you here next week.